Hello friends, welcome back to my Apoc YouTube channel. Hope you are good. Friends, sometimes when you install some software in your computer, like especially in gaming software, or it could be any software. After installing that software, sometimes it shows error code 0xc00007b. This error code. Because of this, we can't open that software, my friends. It could be in Windows 10, 8.8, 8, even in 7, my friends. So friends, Today I'll solve the problem in four ways. Friends, if you want to know the setting, please watch the whole video. And if you didn't subscribe my YouTube channel, please subscribe now. And I'm coming to you after intro, my friends. Method one is download the latest version of DirectX and .NET framework. Friends, for this you need connection of internet then you have to go in google chrome browser then you have to download directx you can write download directx you can write like this then you have to press enter then you have to download download directx from microsoft website so you can click here then you will get interface like this my friend then you have to click on download when you click on download, it will be downloaded automatically, my friend. See here. Then you can install this one in your computer. After that, you have to download another software. So .NET Framework. This one, my friend. You have to press enter. Then you have to download the latest .NET Framework, my friend. So you can click here. Also, this one from Microsoft website. Then you can click here. Then from here, .NET Framework, you can download this one, my friend. Run apps. See, my friends. Also, it will be downloaded automatically. Then you can install this one in your computer. After installing, you have to restart your computer. Then you can open your software. It is fixed or not. If it is not fixed, you can jump on method 2, my friend. So close the tabs. In method 2, run as administrator you have to click on the desired software which one you want to open then you have to click right button of your mouse then you have to click run as administrator my friends then check your software has been opened or not if it is not you have to jump on method 3 method 3 is check your hard disk for this you have to go in windows dialog box then you have to write command prompt. See my friend, this one, right? Then you have to click right button of your mouse. Then you have to click run as administrator. Then my friend, user account control, it will ask you to give the permission. So you have to click on yes. Then you will get an interface like this, my friend. Now you have to write here C H K D S K space c then semicolon then slash then f then again slash then r now you have to press enter you have to wait a few seconds then you have to write here why my friend then you have to press enter now my friends when you restart your computer it will check automatically your hard disk and it will solve automatically also after that you can open your software it is fixed or not if it is not fixed you can jump on method 4 my friends so close this one method 4 is fix the compatibility between system and application friends for this you have to select that software then you have to click right button of your mouse then you have to click on properties then you have to click on compatibility then you have to give the check mark on run run this program in compatibility mode 4 you have to select from here latest windows my friend so from here the latest windows is windows 8 right so after select this one then you have to click on apply then you have to click on ok after that you have to restart your computer then you can open your software which one you want to open then check please it is fixed or not it will be fixed 100 percent if you try all the methods Friends, still if you face any problem, you can ask me in comment box. 
I'll try to give answer as soon as possible my friends. Friends if this video helpful to you please like, share, comment and especially subscribe my youtube channel. Thank you so much my friend. Take care.